Hello everyone, it has been a minute, minute, mi minute, 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 oh. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I was absolutely unable to post anything last week because I was so busy. This video I'm posting today was supposed to be the one for last week, but well, here we are, I'm posting. So, uh, in this video tutorial, I am showing you guys how I got the monster in my eye. <laughs> I'm showing you guys how I got this monster can in my eye. Uh, please, just follow the whole process. I did the monster can in three different parts of my body. I did it on the right part of my face, on the left part of my face, and then on my really big boobs. <laughs> you guys, don't. So starting the whole process, I got my eyebrows done. I got the right part of my eye done with eyeshadow and makeup, applying the whole makeup and eyeshadow process. It's just the same process I used to apply eyeshadow on my face regularly that I did just on one part of my eye. And then, yeah, I got into doing the main focus of this video. Keep on watching, guys. So for the purpose of saving time, I am just going to run you guys through how I got this look done. I'm using an eye pencil. I outlined where I wanted the can to sit on my really big boobs. And then I went in with uh, the latex glue just on the outline part. And then I also went in with some cotton wool on top of the latex, that is, which is on top of the outline part. And then I placed the can on the cotton wool. You guys, if you're not trying to hurt yourself, if you're not trying to bleed on YouTube, please use either a tissue or the cotton wool round the outline part and then i use the hand dryer to dry it to make it stick and then i applied more 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 glue and uh, cotton wool and then i had it dry as well and then i went ahead to um use concealer foundation and the powder to set it to blend into my skin to make it look exactly like my skin you know to make it look uh, original and then uh, yeah i went ahead and applied coloring i made it darker made, made it look bruised and then i added liquid blood yeah and then well i suppose that's how i got this look and then i made sure it looked as realistic as possible and then uh because i got this video or i got this look from someone on instagram and she had this whole uh neon green you know she had this whole neon green effect and then i added my own neon green effect through of how i got this look please keep watching and i hope you guys learned something from this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and watch as many times as possible invite your friends to subscribe to my youtube channel and yeah basically that is all i have to say anyway guys don't mind me please Watch on and enjoy.
i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh give this video a thumbs up if you like it if you have any suggestions please drop in the comment section uh follow my instagram page and subscribe to my youtube channel as well turn on the notification buttons my instagram page will be down in the description box please kindly visit instagram and then follow my instagram pages thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye guys